Okay, now let's get into the mixing. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put all of our elements inside the FL Studio mixer, including our instruments and drums on separate channels. And for the sake of being neat, what I'm going to do is I'm going to first add my instrument elements to, to the first few mixer channels. Now, what I did was I clicked, I, I left clicked on the first element that I wanted to add and move the mouse down and it'll automatically highlight these three elements. Once you have these three elements selected, you can go to the first mixer channel on the FL Studio Mixer. Once you right click on the mixer channel and go to link selected channels, you want to do starting from this track. And what this did is it added all three of these channels starting from this track going on down. So because I have three, you see the first, second, and third channel are now occupied by those elements. So now we have our instrument elements. For the drums, as you can see, all of the separated uh, patterns and instrument and drum and drum elements that we have are in here. This first pattern is actually the first full drum pattern that we dragged out that contains all of the elements. So we're not really actually going to use that. We can basically ignore that and I'll disable that so I know what it is. And here what I'll do is I'll drag and select the rest of the elements. And the same way, what I'm going to do for the sake of you know, being neat and organization, I'll uh, skip one, you know, just so I can tell what's what. And I'll do the same thing. Link select your channel starting from this chat. As you can see, all of these elements have been added to the FL Studio mixer going on down. And then uh, with this, I can begin, you know, what would be, I guess, a light mix, you know, uh, post arrangement. This would, be, this would be like my post arrangement mix. It's basically adjusting the volumes of each instrument, you know, because the, more, the better you can hear the volumes at, you know, a reasonable volume, that'll actually help influence the way we actually arrange and then begin to mix it, the, the whole project. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hit play. said you can come over here you can drop out different things and uh, you know get a pretty good arrangement going on and again now that you have each drum element inside FL Studio Mixer you can then begin to add you know, your different effects as far as compressors like uh, let's say for instance Basically, 
that particular workflow for using the machine inside of FL Studio as a VST.